guys, Ashley Oliver here, designing for Robin Marie Smith. And as you can see, I have pulled some stamps out, and my initial inspiration for this art journal spread is the combination of these fabulous face stamps and those feather stamps. And you can see I just keep them there in a little Tupperware bin. And I have also pulled the coordinating um, art pop cards and stickers from these two collections. This is um, the Woodland Fairy collection and the Laguna Dreaming collection. The feathers are different. Um, they are a stamp set designed um, in Paper Bag Studios by Ray Mizigman. And they are called the Natural Elements. So I'm going to be working with all of these fun little bits and bobs today in my uh, junk journal spread. And really what's inspiring me is how I love to draw faces and my faces don't tend to be, um, don't tend to have kind of as whimsical of a feel as those awesome stamps. And so I thought it would be fun if I used um, the little whimsical faces as kind of like um, a, just sort of a, a humorous little nod to like maybe her muse or like a little friend that she finds kind of. Um, in a nest and so that's kind of where the feathers come in so like little um little friends in her nest just sort of popping around um i don't know hopefully that makes sense <laughs> but that's what i'm going with today so to get started here i'm just sketching my face you can see that i'm working in my junk journal so i already have some things kind of going on on the spread i have um some under paper there that is part of this junk journal spread and just some random things and uh, just getting her nice and sketched out. I like for the shading and the pencil lines to remain a feature of the spread. So that's why I spend this time uh, getting everything just right so that when I start adding color and paint, I already sort of have the face uh, fleshed out on the page. So I am using a just a basic number two pencil and just adding in shading and erasing where I need to, and just getting her just so. But I love the idea of kind of playing with different types of faces and different styles. I think that juxtaposition is really fun. And uh, I sometimes I go for a little bit more of a whimsical look, um, but they my faces never really tend to turn out as uh, quirky as those ones by Kristen Peterson. And so I think it's gonna be really fun to include that quirkiness in my junk journal. So I've got my face mostly down. Um, of course, I'll go back and add some color. And I'm just kind of going through my supplies that I've pulled out here and figuring out what I want to do. So I've got a sticker tape sheet from the Laguna Dreaming collection. And I love these colors. I love how that green and yellow plays off the green and yellow on the other side of the spread that was already there. And now I'm just tearing tiny little bits and doing a little bit of kind of unexpected collage work around her features. So I did some on the eyebrow there and then that's on the eyelid. Just using my glue stick to tack down that little corner. And just carrying on with adding these little tiny bits of color. I think it's fun to put added collage work in the face because it's a little unexpected and brings a really nice texture. So just getting a tiny little piece for the lip there, tacking that down. And it's one thing I love about these sticker, really the circles and the, the tapes, but they're just, they're so versatile. You know, you can use them as is, you can tear them up and collage. There's just so much you can do with them. So I put the remainder on the other side there, you can see. And now I'm going through these stamps to try to figure out how to add these images to my page and kind of what I want to do with that. So I have pulled some Distress Ink colors here and I have chosen Distress Ink because I want to be able to add water and get a little bit of a painty effect. And so these feathers are subtle, which is fine. That's the look I'm going for. I want just the added texture of the imagery and sort of a nod to feathers, but I don't want them to overpower the page. So you can see that I'm kind of picking up the page and rubbing my hand underneath to really get that impression and that helps a lot, especially on a junk journal page where the papers are not even at all. And then I just want to add a feather to this side. I'm kind of trying to figure out, there we go, 
and I love the way that turned out. It's so pretty. And that balances the face nicely because you can see it sort of diagonally across. So just continuing on here with these feathers and getting all of the color on the page. I have a smaller feather now that I'm stamping around. And then I'm going to grab another stamp from that same collection and get this pattern on the page with the dark blue. I want a little bit of contrast introduced, so that's why I've chosen the dark blue like that. That looks really pretty. And then with all my stamping done, I'm going to go ahead and add some water and just pull that color around. I don't want to totally erase the images that I've stamped. I just want to drag that color around the page and get it nice and saturated and use it to sort of visually pop out certain areas of the feathers and around the page. So I'm just going to continue on playing with that color and you can see that it reacts differently depending on what kind of paper it's on and that's one of the fun parts about working in a junk journal. You get different um, results depending on where you are on your spread. So I just wanted to add in a little bit more texture here. I didn't even mount this. I'm just using my hand and I love the way that's coming out. I love this small little feather. I just want to add a little bit more up here and then I think that'll do it. Just a little bit of water and finish all that stamping off. It's really pretty. And now I'm just taking some gesso. I'm putting it right on my page as you can see and I just want to use my larger brush to kind of push back some elements. I don't want to cover them completely. That's why I'm using a light hand with this gesso. But just using this in varying areas on the spread to either push back or push forward certain elements. So I went around the face because I want to push her forward and I went over that paper at the top because I wanted to push it back and same with that palette paper that's part of my junk journal spread. I just wanted to push those colors back just a little bit and now I've used a gelato and a wet brush to get some you know a bit of a watercolor effect so that I can apply some of the oranges and yellows that I want to have in this spread just on my face for a little bit of shading here. I am applying it in areas where there would be shadows and that's what helps it kind of, you know, it's whimsical because it's an obviously not a realistic color, but it, it flushes out the face because it's going in areas where there would be shadow. So I really like that look. I'm using a thinner brush here so that I can get that detail in. And now I wanted to add a little bit more contrast to the top of her head, you know, kind of the idea of hair. So I'm using the stamp again, but honestly, it, it doesn't really read as a feather. It more just reads as texture and color, which is totally fine with me. And then just doing the same thing on the opposite side of the spread. And now it's time to add some of those whimsical faces that I talked about in the beginning. So this little lady... She's one of my favorites in the collection, and I think she needs to hang out kind of in her feathered nest of hair, and I love that. I think it's so cute. And then the pieces that I tore off, I'm just adding to other parts of the spread because we don't want to waste anything. And just maybe another face kind of popped around like these little muses in her mind. And so I grab first just that one with the orange because I want to just sprinkle the orange across the page. Um, and then I'm going to actually add the face in the terms of the stamp here. So I think that stamp is so much fun. I mean, look at her eyes. How cute is she? So I'm just messy stamping around, getting lots of these little faces on there. And I just love the contrast of the face that I drew with these little funky girls. I think it's so cute. Now on the right side of the page, I really want to add some art pop card just for some color and um, also the texture of having that added piece of paper. So I found this one and I'm cutting out sort of this ink splotch circle thing and I'm going to just put it right there and it'll hang off the edge. In this journal, I try to have some things hanging off the edge. I think it's really fun and adds a lot of texture. And so gluing that on with my glue stick, just getting it nice and solid so that it's nice and strong, especially since it hangs off the edge. And then here's just a little scrap I had from another project I was working on, just some stitching. And so I'm layering that up and stapling it on, and I love that texture and the contrast. 
Okay, so now back to these stickers and it's time to put, there we go, that's what I was talking about earlier, those little ladies just kind of floating around the page. Uh, I think it's just so much fun. And I like how the blue really pulls out the areas of contrast around the spread. So aren't they fun just hanging out with the girl that I drew? And so I'm just looking through here to make sure that there's nothing else I want to grab. I love her. She's beautiful. So I'm just kind of playing with, you know, I feel like I want some more pattern and color on the page, but I'm not exactly sure if I want to do an interactive card or like a tip-in or another tab. I'm really liking all the greens in this one. So ultimately, I decided to cut an, an exaggerated scallop piece here, just free form, and then apply it to the top of the spread. And that is just going to give another nice area of color. If you look, I sort of have a nice contrasty piece to the left, to the right, and now to the top. And now I'm just adding some twine for some texture, another thing kind of hanging off the edge, which is super fun. Okay, so things are really starting to come together here. I'm just making sure that's glued down. And then I want to go back in with my pencil and just kind of accentuate some elements here on the stamped feather. And then just some varying shading around the spread and just getting everything that amount of pop that I would like it to have. And so I'm just going to continue doing this, and then you'll see that I'm going to add my journaling, and then just keep working on the page, adding varying degrees of contrast through color and the use of highlights and shadows, playing with white paint, using some gelatos. So I'm going to play some music and let you watch the process.
guys. So I'm about done here, but as you can see, it's just a matter of adding color and contrast through the use of shading and color. And a lot of it's intuitive. You know, I don't, I just kind of go with it. And the million dollar question is always, when is it done? And, you know, I struggle with that too, but it's just, um, when I get to that point where I feel like if I add any more, it's going to be gratuitous and it won't help the spread and it might even hinder it. So um, that's kind of my marker, which of course is very subjective. So you might have thought this spread was done, you know, a few minutes back <laughs> or you might think it needs a lot more. So the cool thing about being an artist is you get to decide for yourself. So just putting in the final touches here and then that calls it done. I had so much fun putting this together and playing with different types of faces. So I hope it's inspired you to do some artistic play today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.